देहम श्री गुरो सीता पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश्रीपात सहगना रघुनाथ सजीव परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखन्ता श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखन्ता जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निद्वैतर शिवाशादी गौरभक्त श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निद्वानंद श्रियाद्वैत गदाधर शिवाशादी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे जय ग्रंथ सम्राट श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत जीव श्री श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत मधलिरा प्रथम परिच्छेद गोदावरी तीर बलि वृंदावन रामानंद राय सहलतिपदी स्थान कैल दर्शन सर्वद्रिल कृष्ण नाम प्रचार Just discussed about this stanza yesterday. Again, again, I would like to touch on this point. Again, just I would like to discuss a little bit more about this. So here, in the Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu, actually describing. most part of the madhya lila and anta lila in brief he had some apprehensive and yeah, he became so old as he grew so old aged so he had an he had an apprehensive that he would pass away soon so therefore so out of that apprehensive he therefore he Describe all the main pastimes of Lord Chaitanya, all the principal and important pastimes of Lord Chaitanya in brief. Okay. In synopsis way. So here in in this chapter, first chapter of the Madhya Lila, he is describing the. Lord Chaitanya's principal, principally important pastimes, more in synopsis way. Okay. Why? Out of some apprehension, in case he passes away, because the completion of this Chaitanya Chaitamrita, then. some of the 
the important leaders, principal leaders of Lord Chaitanya will remain unknown, will remain unmanifested to the devotees and others. That's why he has decided to describe those essential leaders of Lord Chaitanya in brief synopsis. Just for Godavari Tira Bani Vrindavana Bhaam Ramananda Rai Shakta Hai Lila So, during his traveling over all South India, South India pilgrimage places, at some point he was in Godavari. So he was near Godavari River, which is known as one of the principal holy rivers in India. You know, while we do Achmana, while we do Achmana from the water, uh, all the Tithas water are uh, invited, they get united together. The mention of river Godavari is there. Particular mention of river, holy river Godavari is out there. The mantra is Om Gangeja Yamuni Chariva Godavari Saraswati Narmade Sindhu Kaveri Jalishmin Sangadim Kuru. It's an Achmana mantra. Doing Achmana with this mantra, some with some water pot which contains water. So, touching, touching that water in that water container, by uttering this mantra, all the holy river waters are invited into that pot. Okay. Very, very much adorably invited. That water container in that into that water, so that all the all the holy river waters get united in that water pot, in that water container which is holding that water, and thus that water becomes very holy. It's all done through the path of the mantra. This is, this is very mystically done through the path of, you know, inviting, through the path of the mantra, inviting all the holy waters from all the holy, principal holy rivers through mantra. So, Godavari is mentioned. Actually, all the holy rivers, the Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Godavari, Narmadi, Sindhu, Kavari, they are all actually interrelated, interconnected spiritually. Because they are all finally, ultimately connected to the Supreme Lord, to the absolute divine truth, Supreme Personality of Absolute divine truth in God. So in connection with, in relation to the Supreme Absolute Lord, all those holy river waters became so holy. All those holy river waters they automatically become so sacred because of the holiest connection, the holiest relationship with the Supreme Law, who is the source of all, all sacredness, auspiciousness, goodness. So, so now, now Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the Goda, went to nearby Godavari River. So during 
in course of his traveling in the process, the process of his traveling over the pilgrimage places in South India, now he has reached the banks of Godavari. He loved to see the holy river Godavari, the Chaitanya. And on the both sides, both sides of the Godavari river, as soon as Mahaprabhu saw beautiful forest, beautiful kind of forest. So he was immediately influenced with the vision of Vrindavan. He immediately visualized the forest of Vrindavan. That's what happened. Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sthavara Jangama Dhaki, Nadakitar Murti, Sarvatra Hoy, and Ishta Deva Sthiti. So, although Mahaprabhu was on the banks of Godavari River, but he was absorbed, he was absorbed in Praja Prema of Krishna Chandra, Praja Bhav relating to Krishna. As soon as, as soon as he could see, he saw some okay, guardians and forest on the boat, both sides of the Godavari river. He immediately, he immediately started, immediately began to have the vision of divine Vrindavana forest. And he became more and more well. Krishna Prema in the mood of Raja. The mood of Raja. So, being absorbed, being situated in the divine mood of Raja, Raja Prema, at some point he was lovingly waiting to see Rai Ramananda. He was lovingly and eagerly waiting to be united with Rai Ramananda, one of the top most beloved associates of him, who was none other than Sri Vishakha Shokhin Brajalila. And before coming to South India, in the beginning of his traveling towards South India, from Ispuridham, Orisha, Saruhoma Pandit, to request a Mahaprabhu to get together with Rai Ramananda. And it Saruhoma Pandit. After he became converted into a great devotee, great pure devotee of Lord Chaitanya, after, after he started engaging in devotional service to Lord Chaitanya, greatly appreciating, appreciating Lord Chaitanya, his divine character. After having the, after having the great, noble, transcendental realizations about Lord Chaitanya, when he understood who Lord Chaitanya was, Sarva Pandi we all know, became a great devoted servitor, devoted servitor to Lord Chaitanya. And by the special grace of Lord Chaitanya, then he could understand the real position, the in-depth, in-depth position, in-depth character, the innermost nature of Rai Ramananda. Although outwardly he looked to be a very powerful political personality, powerful administrative, not so, so much political, powerful administrative personality from the government because he was, he was a governor, a very powerful governor of the Orisha. So, In spite of his apparent, you know, 
apparent position of a powerful governor of the Orisha, but he knew. Inwardly, he was a great devotee, oh, unalloyed, pure devotee, associate with Radha Krishna, also Gauranga. So, before Mahaprabhu left for South India, Mahaprabhu lovingly requested Lord Chaitanya to meet with Rai Ramananda, telling him Mahaprabhu, he really deserves, O oh Lord, Rai Ramananda really deserves to be with you, to be united with you. As soon as you meet him, you will see him, you will meet him, you will be with him. Prabhu, I know, I know fully well, you will know who is he. You will know what is he, who is he. You are Antarjami, you are all knower. I know you already know about him, but still, I very much feel like telling you, very much feel like requesting you, meet Rai Ramananda. He is an exceptionally, he is an exceptionally exalted devotee of Radha Krishna, associate devotee of Radha Krishna. So, he is really qualified to meet you, my Lord. And you will also be so pleased, you will also be so very happy Deeply pleased by meeting him, your inner desire of hearing Krishna Katha, hearing about the Leela of Radha Krishna will be so fulfilled. I am sure you will be, you'll be greatly relishing. So you will be greatly relishing to hear from Rai Ramananda. You will be greatly relishing his company. His company, pure devotional company. So, who? So, he is truly. So, I would like to see, I would like to see your, your get, get together is happening. Your sweet, melodious union with Rai Ramananda happening. That will be... Okay. It will also be so pleasing for Rai Ramananda as well as yourself. Both of you will be extremely pleased and satisfied by each other's association. So, Mahaprabhu is smiled and accepted his request. Now, Chaitanya was Antarjyami, Knower of the heart of Rai Ramananda. So he knew Rai Ramananda was living there at that time. He was the governor of that area, Kabul, that area of the South India, especially. He was, he was living there and trusted with some administrative responsibilities there. So now, so Rai Ramananda was given the message. Once Mahaprabhu was there, he was informed about the Mahaprabhu's presence nearby Godavari. He was actually informed from Sri Jagannath Puri Dham. Now our Lord is going there, most probably by Rai, most probably by Sarvabhauma Pandita. Okay. Most, most, it is not clearly described, but by some foremost devotees of Lord Chaitanya like the Sarvabhoma Pandita and other associates. The information reached him. He was given the news of Lord Chaitanya's presence in okay, South India near by Godavari. As soon as Rai Ramananda heard about, came to know about Mahapur's presence, his heart was also so inspired, so full of eagerness 
thirsty to meet with Mahaprabhu. So that's what happened. Both of them, the Lord and the Eternal Associate Sarvita, Jai Ramananda. Eternal Associate Sarvita, so I repeat, the Supreme Lord Chaitanya as, as well as his eternal associate Sarvita, Prabhu Ramananda became now so thirsty and so so deeply eager to meet with each other. At some point that happened. That he was famous they must get together, a very very sweet, loving union meeting which Rai Ramananda Mahaprabhu took place there, absorbed in nectarine Krishna Katha, Radharan Katha, absorbed in melodious nectarine Radha Krishna Katha, Radha Krishna Vida Katha. Alongside the discussions, narration of the most lofty, beautiful Siddhartha, most lofty, sublime Siddhartha about Radha Krishna Tapta, as well as accompanied by the narration, great narration of Sri Sri Radha Krishna Lila. In our character, nature of this Radha Krishna Lila. The Supreme Lord, Lord Chaitanya and his eternal associate Sarvita, beloved Sarvita, Rai Ramananda became so pleased, so very pleased. So much so, they didn't want to leave each other's association. They didn't want to leave each other's company. As if all the time they wanted to be with each other, spend happiest times, happiest moments, extremely pleasant moments with each other. They became so attached with each other. At last, Rai Ramananda had the extreme fortune to be visualizing to have darshana of Lord Chaitanya as the combination of Radha Krishna. He received that transcendental darshana of Goranga Tattva, a mystical divine way that Dasharaj Mahabhav Duya Dasharaj Krishna and Mahabhava Sarupini, Simati Radha Rani, Radha Thakurani became together, united together and then appeared in the form of Gauranga, in the sweet and beautiful form of Lord Gauranga. He found he had Darshana. He received the Darshana of Lord Krishna and embraced with divine complexion and mood, golden complexion and the mood of Sivati Radha Thakurani. This way. So, Rai Ramananda became overwhelmed and having received that Darshana and fell unconscious on the ground. He could not hold himself in a normal way, with the supernormal, divine, the mystical, miraculous, wonderful experience of visualizing having darshana of Mahaprabhu as a combined form of Radharani and Krishna, Rai Ramananda could not hold himself, could not hold his normal way. He lost external sense, fell on the ground, 
at some point by the touch of Mahaprabhu's hand, he woke up. Jai Jai Gupta Sampras, Chaitanya Chaitanya. 